There is not a single female celebrity that is having a worse year than Jennifer Lopez. And to prove it, I actually made a list. Between me and you, this video couldn't be juicier to make because in January, I made a video auditing her brand. Of course, I had to make a follow-up piece of content recapping the year. Let's see how she did this year. First, all of us remember talking about the This Is Me Now movie that she made that she self-funded. Talking about how amazing her love story is and how it's like a once-in-a-lifetime thing. Got a whole star-studded cast. It was super desperate. But even I was not prepared for the fact that she would literally divorce months later really just goes to show that the people that are out there screaming the loudest about their relationships probably aren't the ones that are the happiest. She starred in the movie Atlas, which was like a sci-fi movie, 19% on Rotten Tomatoes. That says it all. You just know that she spent all of last year thinking this was going to be her year. This was going to be the big year. Next up, the only decent movie that she did this year was because her then husband was producing it. So the only thing that she felt like she kind of did a good job this year is kind of marred by her divorce. Next up, we see her crying at campaign rallies for Kamala. And the most biggest one of all that you all have been waiting for me to talk about, the resurfacing of her past relationship with Diddy. Now, we all know that the whole Diddy list is something that everyone's been talking about, but she was actually in a relationship with him, which means something completely different than all of the other names that could just come up. And no doubt she is obviously scared shitless. There are a lot of people saying that she did the Kamala rally so that she could distract from the Diddy stuff, but many people forget that she was involved in the 1999 nightclub shooting. She had to testify. She had to be involved in that entire aftermath. And so not only is she reliving kind of this really horrendous experience, but now her reputation is completely on the line because of everything that's happening with Diddy. As always, let me know what you think. What is going to come out of the woodwork with the Diddy stuff? Let me know your thoughts.